I'm going to talk about Ecomoid farming in Mozambique and Kenya. This is a work by Eduardo Mojani University in Maputo, Mozambique, the Kenya Marine and Fish Research Institute, uh, and also uh, South Marine Group. Uh, this is a, a private company uh, who accepted uh, to be part of this uh, document. Uh, the outline of this presentation is as follows. Let me start uh, with the history of northern Mozambique, uh, mainly Cap Delgado and Nampula uh, uh, testing and farming, uh, the southern Kenya outlook, number two. Uh, I will then talk about species and techniques uh, and later communities and finalize the challenge. Let me start with this uh, picture. Uh, this is Cap Delgado three uh, native strains out of Nampula. Uh, to point out that in the 60s, export of uh, ecomoid Mozambique came from na uh, native strains, and uh, they might managed to export uh, something like 100 megatons at that time, uh, based on uh, wild materials. Uh, as I said, uh, the ecomoid testing cultivation model in Mozambique dates back uh, 1995. Uh, when uh, the company Copenhagen Peptin of Denmark made recognition of areas for cultivation of chem and capificos, and they have managed to identify 9, 9, 940 hectares uh, in the entire uh, coastline of Cabo Verde, out of which 450 uh, 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 were used for experimental phase uh, that last. Uh, uh, for quite a number of years, from 1995 to 1997, and interesting that they have estimated that in that time uh, they managed to produce uh, between 3,000 to 500 metric tons. I should also mention that there was a link with NGO Aga Khan at that time. Uh, 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 they have uh, uh, managed at that time to identify major areas with populations that were, were undertaking. Uh, uh, that activity, mainly Murabi Pemba, uh, 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 mainly in Cap Delgado. Uh, if I can uh, show you, uh, this is the uh, some of the pictures of the cultivation uh, going on uh, in the area at that time. Uh, uh, I should mention that the production reached the peak uh, in around uh, uh, 2004 uh, but uh, and uh, involved mainly uh, as I mentioned three uh, uh, main areas Makumia, Pemba and Mekufe but I should uh, also mention that uh, uh, due to several issues uh, that activity dwindled and, 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 and eventually the activity was stopped. Uh, as I mentioned, we had the different entities uh, that started testing in the neighboring Kabilogan uh, province of Nampula. Uh, that was uh, uh, Kulima uh, mainly. Uh, but very recently, we also had uh, uh, Serk Mozambique, which started basically this this uh, this year. Uh, again, to summarize uh, the activities in the sub regard, which were significant at that time, uh, as I mentioned, uh, they ended up uh, producing a, 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 a peak of uh, 5,000 hectares, but it dwindled uh, in 2004. Uh, 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 that production uh, reduced, uh, as I mentioned, uh, between 1995 and 2000, uh, n n uh, 1995 and, and uh, 1997, that was the uh, experimental phase, and, and they went into production uh, uh, from uh, uh, 1998 uh, and continuing uh, throughout uh, the time. Uh, but uh, eventually, due to several issues, uh, uh, they, they went into uh, production problems, disease, inconsistent logistics, uh, 
uh, uh, they have managed at that time uh, to engage something like 2,000 farmers. Uh, the main technique used was a fix, fixed off bottle. Uh, although they did test some uh, floating raft, uh, local communities uh, would uh, earn it uh, um, an average of 60 US dollars uh, per uh, 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 month. Uh, those are some of the figures that uh, uh, indicate uh, uh, the number of people engaged over the years, uh, uh, especially when they had this production, uh, uh, as, as it depicts here from 1999 uh, to 2004. Uh, also, the increase of the area being cultivated. This is the export data uh, that were known from that time. Uh, so it um, uh, uh, was not a, a happy ending uh, whereby the testing went uh, quite very well and also the productions, but uh, due to uh, a specific issues as I mentioned inconsistent logistics and some of the diseases uh, the, the company end up abandoning the uh, rather promising activities down there in the Cabo Delgado. Uh, I should also mention uh, more than 10 years ago we have had uh, uh, in the area uh, Kulim and Mos Pesca uh, had had activities in Bashupina and Nampula uh, but it has been discontinued. We don't have much information about uh, this activity. Uh, but very recently, South Mozambique had uh, uh, have started around the same place. Uh, 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 actually, they at the testing uh, phase. Okay, uh, uh, this company is basically using using uh, a chemical denticulatum uh, uh, but having ideas to uh, start with the uh, capofical varese as well um, methods are very similar to those reported uh, in other places uh, vis -vis, uh, uh, such as Tanzania also Kenya I'm, I'm going to just summarize a bit on uh, uh, activities in Kenya, although uh, Kim, uh, uh, Alex Kimat himself will detail more in his own presentation. Uh, 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 the Kenyan uh, component, uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, it's a very uh, promising activities down there. Uh, they engage several stakeholders. Uh, with a strong component of uh, the research that Kenya Marine Fisheries Institute. This uh, had started with a major uh, project uh, down there uh, in the coastal Kenya. Uh, and uh, uh, having beach management unit unities, uh, they had uh, seaweed buyers actually. The, the, the salt company was uh, also mentioned involved in, in in that activity of buying some of these materials uh, uh, from there. Where in Mozambique, uh, it's uh, it's this restart in Ampul. It's still at its uh, beginning, uh, uh, but with uh, uh, good opportunities down there, um, and uh, we look forward. Uh, also to test some of these further south, south where uh, what temperatures are a bit more lower and uh, uh, with the potential to re-engage more Clapifix uh, um, Alvarez as you know uh, there is more demand for Clapifix Alvarez uh, 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 however that production in the region is, uh, is still uh, quite low, um, uh, uh, even in, in Tanzania where they have a long history of seaweed uh, uh, 
production on there. So the the the, the Kenya production is uh, has been increasing, uh, going pretty well, uh, as we can see here. Uh, actually, they've managed to move from five metric tons to forty two metric tons between two thousand and twelve and two thousand eighteen. Okay, with the increasing number of farmers, uh, actually already having uh, some. Uh, impact down there within uh, the communities in southern Kenya. Uh, there have been a fluctuation of the prices. Uh, 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 of bright seaweeds, although uh, 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 despite uh, having a, st a steady production of, of uh, the materials uh, 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 down there. Uh, I've already mentioned the uh, uh, cultivation techniques, uh, uh, basically fix of, of bottle in Kenya. Uh, unfortunately, having high mortality with capsicum varieza, uh, this is true. Uh, at least uh, not having uh, a significant production or comparatively lower production in, in Tanzania. In, in Zanzibar, so the issue of capafixal varase is needs to be tackled. Uh, has more demand, but is uh, more challenging to, uh, um, uh, to to attain desirable uh, results. Um, it, it can have been. A, considering using floating rafts, okay, uh, having their own constraints, uh, 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 although uh, I may, may, might explain it this a little bit more, uh, 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 but uh, those floating rafts appears to have yield preliminary good, good data. As I mentioned, uh, that was fixed off bottom in, in Mozambique. Uh, uh, Although they've, t they've tested floating rafts in Cap Delgado, uh, and, uh, we uh, really look forward uh, 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 for the new developments that South might uh, bring in in Ampula or in collaboration with different entities and us. Uh, uh, the testing that can be carried out um, somewhere else in the South where uh, what temperatures are a bit a competitive lower. Uh, moving on uh, into socioeconomic impact of ecomoid cultivation in in Kenya, um, I'm highlighting here uh, a recent publication by Mirera, uh, actually, uh, basically, uh, where, where they concluded that seaweed mariculture uh, cultivation has been a major alternative source of livelihood, uh, and even it's mentioned having uh, more returns on investment comparing to activity like fishing, which is very interesting. Uh, and actually, uh, this was uh, basically in one village, but uh, positively it spread into other villages, uh, five, five villages. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, fixed on bottom as a main method for production. Uh, and very interesting that. Uh, uh, that activity uh, did raise something like twelve thousand uh, US dollars of direct income uh, in the village uh, of Kibuin, the, the Kibuin, the main village down there. Uh, and actually, that income uh, um, is reported being translated into having people having modern houses, paying school fees, medical care. And uh, more stronger food security and nutrition and other investments. This is very interesting. Women uh, actually were the highest proportion of seaweed farmers, nearly 8%. Uh, um, and it's very interesting that uh, gender element, that opportunity given to women uh, so that they can also participate actively in decision making process. Uh, 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 just to uh, finalize on the socioeconomic impact on ecomotive cultivation in Kenya uh, was that farmers have been involved in making value-added products uh, from seaweeds like soaps, salads, shampoos, etc. which is a, a 
very interesting and creative component attached for, for Mozambique uh, 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 the Campbell Guard uh, has been uh, uh, regarded as the best example although it became discontinued at that time having quite uh, interesting results uh, 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 but nevertheless uh, given specific problems at that time also with the company uh, uh, it was discontinued but the tangible economic impacts of the economic cultivation one of the elements was uh, you know to see uh, this uh, power of woman uh, being revealed because they she had their own uh, her own income as you can see uh, this lady you know just doing sweet farming having uh, 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 depicting uh, 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 beautiful clothing, um, uh, diversification of livelihoods that was an element added to the communities, uh, including households improvement and income generating. Um, so thank you uh, uh, for listening. Thank you.